Hey Phil, how are you? This is a quick video on this 2011 Newmar Dutch Star 4086 model. Just a quick little video walkthrough on this to show you all the good things and the bad things about it. Uh, it's mostly good. Up at the very top there you might see a little bit of sun fading, uh, but honestly the front end of this is a lot cleaner than a other model that I just videoed that was a 2015 couple little things right down here I have the generator running the engine is also running too just so you can kind of hear everything and how it sounds looks like the uh, tailpipe's got a little bit of rust on it uh, I'll get underneath of here in just a second and show you underneath of this model uh, looks like you got Michelin XRV tires up here looks like you got all sorts of tread I don't see any cracking in the sidewalls these tires have definitely been replaced there's a day code on them. So on the 12th week of 2017. So these tires are approximately three years old. And you can see the paints on the side. This looks to be in really nice shiny condition. You can see the light reflecting on it right up here. And the exhaust right down here for the Aqua Hot. Uh, again, I don't see any major scratches or damage on the paint whatsoever. Let's get underneath of it, take a look underneath. This all looks to be good. All the way around, I don't see a single bit of rust on it, except for right there on the exhaust. Fairly typical. A little bit of a scratch right down there as I'm getting up, you can see that. Looks like we have more Michelin XRV tires. Looks like they're matching the front. And right there 12 of 17 so it looks like this this uh, model received an entire tire change back in 2017 here's a shot of the rear everything looks great there might be a little loud back over here did have a dead battery on it when I came to it so I went ahead and jumped it the batteries I don't see any corrosion or anything on them just dirty have to clean that up. So it pops back into here. And let's see. Am I gonna start shutting this right? There we go. Just had to get the right hand on it. A little bit of a scratch down below. Uh, paint over here looks great too. Yep. Matching tires. They look great, plenty of life, plenty of tread left on them. The side looks great, the paint feels nice and smooth, very glossy. Very nice for a 2011 model. Shot of the stairwells. Looks like this started to come up, so it looks like the owner had put some more screws in there, not very attractive. I would probably want them to clean that up for me. You do have your typical wear on the seats right here. Same here, a little bit of cracking. Looks like this came down, yeah, from up there for the antenna on the roof. Uh, this, the driver's seat shows significant wear. You can see a close up right there, right over here on the seat. Typical, again, this is a almost 10 year old coach with 50,000 miles on it. A shot of everything, all the gauge, all the gauge clusters. You got a factory navigation on board. You got the overhead TV, all of your control switches right here. It does come with a host of electronics too as well. Oh, that brings me back. Sony 5.1 AV receiver, satellite DVD. Is that a laser disc player? What is that? Oh my goodness, is that a laser disc? Holy cow. And then a view of the interior. Uh, this I don't know. It looks like it does match this over here. I was thinking that maybe this wasn't factory, but it looks like the handles and everything. It looks like it is. Uh, you do have a little bit of staining up on the top portion here. Overhead storage. Looks like it comes with uh, quite a bit of reading material. Holy cow. Yeah. All the factory manuals and such. Uh, this is also showing a little bit of wear, but not as much as the front seats. Nice table, beautiful window looking outside. Really like that. And you got your switches. 
Looks like that the, the owner had replaced the factory bulbs with LED. So you'll see that theme going on throughout this motorhome. Looks like these are little push button guys. Yep, sure enough. And then this, yeah, so that's a pull-out sofa. So this is going to be a full, probably king bed right there, I, I would imagine. Uh, here's a shot of your countertops. This here, so it does not have a... Uh, does not have a dishwasher and this here is off the tracks and so they would have to replace that or not replace it they'd have to fix that or put it back on its tracks shot of the sink or excuse me the stove right here that looks to be in good condition microwave looks to be in great condition looks like we got a little two sink deal right here what is this a bang we have a bang we have a bang alert be careful energy drink it'll get you hyped up another little shot down here of the sink and you get the Sony big screen TV uh, Bravia very nice lots of storage over the top of the uh, the entertainment center looks like we have fuses and breakers down below uh, got a Jack and Jill restroom in here Pestle there, so you could shave your legs. Just kidding. Nice looking, nice looking shower area. Plenty of headroom. That's actually a real good size. And then we got your sink up top, medicine cabinet right up here. Uh, more control slide outs right there. Refrigerator. Let's see if we could turn this thing on. On. Yep, looks like it turned on for us. I don't smell any weird smells. I don't see any rust on the shelves, which you typically would. Looks to be nice and clean. Nice little pantry area here. Some closet with some hanging storage. Let's look at the carpet here. Because the tile all looks really nice. Very nice on the tile. I did notice the stain back over here and right here. We do detail these things. That looks like it might not come out all the way, but they do go through and steam clean these models. And let's turn on some lights back over here. This is definitely not factory. Little key thing that they added up top. Drawers look to be in good condition. Another seat Sony TV back over here too. And uh, that's a king size bed, man. That's a California king, I would almost. I mean, that's just huge, huge bed. Memory foam, firm, very nice. Don't see any staining. Let's see here. Looks like we got a roll pole, stacked washer and dryer. Let's turn this on. See if I could turn it on. Where's the button? Did it just turn this? Oh, yeah, sure enough. So that turns on and off. This turns on and off, looking good. Make sure it's on the off position here. And then some sliding storage here. Looks like you got a fire safe back there. Very nice. This is really nice. Uh, hoses for your central vacuum. Lots of deep storage. I don't know what this is. Watch a clown pop out. Okay, so that's just gonna be your, how you turn off your water for your, um, for your uh, washer and dryer. Excuse me, can't talk today for some reason. Uh, overall, not bad. I did have to jump start it. Uh, could be that someone left on and something that didn't put the switch up here or something along those lines. But engine sounds great. Generator sounds great. Everything looks like it wor works like it should. And uh, could use a little bit of a clean and some love. Definitely some adjustment of this over here. Uh, the seats are peeling up a little bit. Didn't go over the windshield. The windshield looked to be, I didn't see any rock chips or any cracks or anything along those lines. Uh, so overall, you know, pretty damn nice for the year, for the price. But I'll upload load this up to YouTube, send it over to you. Let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.